Hey y'all, what's going on? I'm here for the Love and Hip Hop Hollywood season three, episode six. Um, I'm gonna be honest, like this episode was kind of boring to me too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's why I didn't rush to do it. <laughs> um, oh, you guys, I get my wisdom tooth pulled out next week. I wish they would have, you know, gave me an appointment this week or whatever, but. They're going to see me next week or whatever. I cannot wait to get this shit pulled out. Um, It seems like now, like, my gum is starting to grow over top of the tooth and everything. It's just, yeah, this shit has been giving me hell. And, I, yeah, next week needs to hurry the fuck up. Okay? But, um, <laughs> anyways, let's get on with the review. Um, We have uh Masika and Max. They meet up to talk about music. And, you know, Max, he explains, you know, he still hasn't, you know, been home, you know, with Brandy or whatever. Um, her and Max, Masika and Max, they have music history together. She was introduced to him from a, by another producer, and that producer was trying to hit on her, and because she wasn't trying to give him no play, the record that they did or whatever kind of fell through. Um, she's concerned, she's concerned about Max's wife or whatever. She knows Max's wife, you know, Brandy has a history of popping up and shit like that. This, that, and the third. Max tells her, you know, you just let me handle her. Like, you know, we gonna be good and everything. So, moving on from that, um, we get Princess. She meets up with this wedding planner named um, Diane v Diane Valentine. And, um, you know, she um, tells her about uh, Ray J's mom. How she thinks that Ray J's mom is not really happy about the wedding. Or whatever, this, that, and the third. Um... Diane tells her everything, you know, tells Princess everything she needs to be thinking about, how many groomsmen, how many bridesmaids, you know, or, or and Nene Leaks uh, talk bridemaid, <laughs> how many bridesmaids you want, um, what kind of music you want to play, do you want a Hennessy fountain, or do you want a champagne fountain, you know, to keep it a little classy, you know what I'm saying, you know, she's throwing all these <laughs> ideas at her or whatever, and, um, you know, Princess, she, you could read it all over her face. And then she, she starts to get overwhelmed. She tells her to slow down. She realizes she needs Ray J to support her and be involved with the wedding planning. And it's just like, I mean, wasn't Lil B supposed to kind of try to help Princess out with some shit? What the fuck happened with that? So, I mean, you, I mean, you ain't got no other friends that can help you or, you know what I'm saying? Like, but anyways, moving on, um. We get Willie, A1, Day 1, Safari, and Ray J. They're, they're all at the beach or whatever, you know, working out and shit. Um, A1, Day 1 tells them that him and Lyrica eloped and everything. They congratulate him or whatever. Uh, Ray J brings up Nikki to Safari or whatever. He, he was like, you know, word on the blogs is you seeing not Nikki Nikki, but Nikki Nikki. You know what I'm saying? And, um... You know, so far, he admits that he likes uh, Nikki and everything. She has a big heart or whatever. They all looked at him like, like, especially Ray J. He was like, nigga, please. You know what I'm saying? And, um... Ray J, he pretty much gives, you know, uh, Safari the drop about Rosa Acosta or whatever, how Nikki is seeing her. And Ray J tells him, you know, you need to demand the both of them. Demand the both of them. You know what I'm saying? And I was just like, oh boy, Ray J, Ray J, Ray J. Um, Safari, so you know, of course, you know, once again, he talking in the fake Jamaican accent, him and Sean Kingston, they getting on my nerves with this bullshit now. Okay, like, I'm just saying, you know, I know y'all seen that video uh, about two days ago, Sean Kingston going off on um, the game or whatever, in regards to the beef with Meek Mill and he doing his fake Jamaican accent too. I'm getting off topic here, y'all, I know, but that shit just was irking me. Um, <laughs> but um, anyways, um, Safari, he thinks Ray J is on to something or whatever. Uh, Ray J tells him, don't put my name in it now, you know, but I'm just being your guardian angel. Um, A1, Day 1, you know, he's even kind of like, I don't think this is a good idea or whatever. Um, Ray J is not the best of person, he's not the best person to get advice from. And even if this was a good idea, you know, um, I don't think Safari could pull it off. Oh, let me see. Oh, ain't nobody. Um, <laughs> anyways, um, I apologize about 
the phone ringing in the background, y'all. But um, anyways, uh, where was I at? Um, Ray J pretty much tells him, you know, either they gonna lay it down and give it to you, or you gonna have to lay them down and give it to them, or whatever. And I was like, uh, Ray J, you kind of giving off some rape tease or whatever by saying that shit. I'm just, I, I just want to make you aware of that. Don't say that shit ever again. Okay, um, moving on. <laughs> um, we get Nikki and Rosa, you know, they're out and about chilling and everything. Um, she says Safari, you know, Nikki says Safari has been kind of getting on her nerves lately, so she's been giving more of her attention to Rosa. Um, Jason Lee with his bitch ass shows up. Um, and Nikki says that, you know, she's not really happy to see him right now, and he's been messy. Jason, she posts, I mean, he posted excuse me, the picture of um, Nikki and Safari or whatever on the blogs and made it, and to make matters worse, he tagged Rosa in the picture or whatever and he brings up the roses and yada, yada, yada. You know, Nikki is really, you know, she's really getting defensive and everything this and third. But Rosa, she believes, you know, Nikki and that Safari is just a friend. I was like, mm, girl, <laughs> yeah, okay. Or whatever, and um, Jason thinks that Safari called the blogs or whatever. And um, Rosa kind of insinuates the same thing like Safari, you know, was trying to get on the come up through Nicki. Now, let's be serious here. He was with Nicki Minaj for over a decade. She's way bigger than Miss Nicki, baby. I highly doubt he's looking for a come up from, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm just saying. Okay. Anyway, I think he might be looking for a come up now, but from you, no, I just, yeah, I don't think so. Um, anyways, moving on from that, uh, we get Ray J, um, he's at a photo shoot for, uh, his stupid, uh, bikes or whatever that he got going on. Uh, Princess She shows up. Princess She, you know, she's telling him, like, you know, I'm getting overwhelmed with, this, with all this wedding planning and stuff and I need your help and everything. He disregards the whole conversation and asks, and he asks her about those stupid bikes talking about some, wait a minute, babe, do you think I should say this? Uh, Scooty Bikes by Raytronics. Or should it be this? Scooty Bikes by Raytronics. You know what I'm saying? He was like, nah, that's too, that's too deep. That's too low, right? Or whatever. And she, she, you know, she starts to tear up and everything and, you know, he was like, baby, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you know, like, um, I didn't mean to do that, and, you know, all this other stuff, you know, trying to pacify her and everything, and, um, he tells her, you know, she explains to him, like, you know, I really need you right now, and you just, you know what I mean, and, you know, he says that he got her or whatever, and that she is gonna be a priority, or whatever, just then the third. Moving on, we get, uh, Brandy, um, she's at her store, or whatever, you know, selling, different um items and all this other stuff and she knows that it's just not about the money with max but she figures if she you know makes her way to start replacing the money that he'll start to at least forgive her and um she also has some up-and-coming artists come to the store you know so they can dress her for her tour or whatever moving on from that because i really don't care <laughs> um we get nikki um, she's with Tierra and Nia at this, you know, club event that she's doing or whatever. Rosa, you know, she's also there talking to them and everything. And, you know, um, Tierra thinks that, um, Rosa, you know, is sweet or whatever, this, that, and third. Nikki and, uh, Rosa, they go into the back room or whatever to do, they, you know, do to do. Um, Safari, he pulls up on his motorcycle or whatever. At least he ain't got on a fur coat this time, but, you know, he still got on a hot-ass leather jacket. But, um, anyways, he walks up on Sierra and Nia, hugging him and shit, and they being all fake or whatever, hugging him back after they done talked all this trash about him or whatever. And, you know, he's like, where's Nikki at and everything? And they like, uh, I don't know or whatever, this day and the third. And so he walks to the back or whatever, and he walks in on Miss Nikki Baby and Rosa kissing and, you know, whatever, whatever. And, uh, Rosa, she's shocked that Nikki lied and everything. He asks if they're in a relationship or whatever. 
Um, Nikki says that she's been intimate with both of them. He's like, you know what you mean by that or whatever. And she was like, I think you know what that means. And Rosa was like, you know, to make each other feel good. That's what we've been doing or whatever. This, that, and the third. Uh, Rosa asks why you care so much um, if she's not your girlfriend. But at the same time, Rosa, you kind of got mad too. So, like, you obviously care too. You know what I'm saying? So, don't try to play him like as if he the one who he's the only one who kind of feel low key salty in this situation because right after he left, you felt kind of salty too. You know what I'm saying? Um, what else happened? Um, Safari, you know, tells Rosa that they they've been building or whatever. Rosa says y'all ain't building the goddamn thing. Um, Nikki wonders why Safari is so mad or whatever, and um. Safari so says, I asked you, was you involved with anybody else? She says, yeah. Not with, she said, yeah, not with another man or whatever. And, you know, Safari so was like, come on, that's deceiving. I said, I, I, you know, and that's true. He asked you straight up, was you in, um, involved with anybody else, period. He didn't say, he didn't just say, was you involved with another man or not, but shit. I guess, I guess these dudes got to ask questions like that nowadays. Is you involved with a man or a woman? You know what I'm saying? I was just like, Nikki girl. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, like she really just tried to turn that shit around on him. Um, what else happened? Um, he pulls the whole Ray J stunt or whatever and says he wants, you know, whatever Nikki got this, that, and the third. And Nikki, she even like, you know, don't even come in here like that because you're not that type of guy. So, so far as she already know your bluff and know that you're not that type of dude. So, cut the shit. Um, you know, so far he pretty much leaves and says, you know, he tells Rosa, don't think I'm not going to ever speak to her again or whatever. Um, Nikki, she uh, kind of feels bad. Rosa says that she's not going to fight for her and look stupid, yada, yada, yada. Um, Nikki says, you know, I'm still trying to figure it out. And if we just, if, even if you say we just kicking it or whatever, do I owe anything to anybody or whatever? And I, like I said, I understand what Nikki is saying, but the minute that they both asked you to keep it real with them, you should have just kept it real. You know what I'm saying? And like we've been saying, you got mad at Fizz when he did the shit to you, but now you want, you know, now that the shoe is on the other foot. You doing the same exact thing to these two that he did to you. Anyways, moving on. Um, Nikki says that she was going to tell Rosa and this, that, and the third or whatever. And Rosa is like, yeah, okay. Like, this is why you should have been saying something because sh this is the type of shit that happens. And Rosa, she's over it and she walks the fuck out. Um, moving on, we get Willie and Sean. And pretty much, you know, Sean tells him, like, you know, no. Willie, he admits that he did get up with Keisha, I mean, Kaisha that one time or whatever, this, then the third. I believe you got up with her more than once, but okay. Shonda says she already knew. She just wanted him to tell her the fucking truth or whatever. Um, she talks about the fact that she had to fight Kaisha or whatever, this, then the third, and she shouldn't have to fight no bitch over her man, and she pretty much is going to take a step back from him, from him and he needs to respect that. Moving on, we get Princess. She's at the cake tasting with the wedding planner or whatever. Um, Ray J, he kind of flakes out. He's pretty much busy with his stupid bikes. Um, the planner, you know, she's asking questions about her parents or whatever. Princess, she says she doesn't have a relationship with her dad, really, which we already know. Um, and the planner says that, you know, you might want to fix that. Because Princess says she does want her dad to walk her down the aisle but the planner you know she's kind of giving her giving her advice or whatever and tells her you know your your relationship with your dad dictates your relationship with ray j or whatever and you know she's like because your dad is your first love you know just saying all this stuff princess she starts to cry and everything she starts thinking about the abandonment issues that she has with her dad and ray j not really being present at this moment she don't want to have the same feeling with her husband or whatever and you know they, you know, continue to talk it out or whatever, and they move on with the cake tasting without Ray J. Um, I think, is this the last scene? Yeah, this is the last scene. Uh, we get Masika and Max. Um, they're listening to a record that she had previously did. I won't really pay any attention, so whatever. Um, Brandy, she walks in or whatever. She's pissed off. She walks in thinking she's about to surprise Max with the money that she's accumulated from the store. 
Ooh, excuse me, y'all. Um, she thinks she's about to come in, you know, and show Max the money that she's accumulated from the store or whatever, and finds Masika in there. She's pissed off or whatever, and um, saying how Masika did some shady shit to her best friend and all this other stuff. Um, she said, you know, Brandy, she comes and tells me excuse me for being miscombobulated. What the fuck is miscombobulated? Okay, um, <laughs> somebody need to go back to school. Um, anyways, moving on, um, she asked Max, you know, when did you start working with her again and all this other stuff, and Max said, you know, he's like, you know, Max got so much patience, like, he don't even get all loud and shit. He just be all calm. Like, it couldn't have been me. Because I would have uh, I would have been yelling at that bitch. Like, for real. I would have been screaming at the top of my motherfucking lungs with her motherfucking ass. For real. Um, But Max says, you know, we just now started working together, you know, and this, that, and the third. Brandy mad because, like I said, he didn't tell her. Masika is like, look. I don't know what y'all's got going on, but I don't want to be in the, I don't really care about what y'all got going on. That's y'all business, but I'm not trying to be in the middle of this shit or whatever. Um, Brandy is jumping to conclusions based off what her best friend told her. And that's the problem, Brandy. You always jump to motherfucking conclusions and not knowing what the fuck it really is. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, Max, he just sitting there chilling like, he just sitting there. Um... She says that Masika tried to, you know, fuck her best friend's husband or whatever. Masika says that, um, no, I'm sorry, hold on. Brandy tells what was told to her by her best friend and everything. Masika, she shuts it down. She was like, uh, yeah, the same guy who tried to hit on me and when I turned him down or whatever, he got in his feelings and all this other stuff. And, um, she's, she's like, I still have the messages, you know. Brandy's sitting up here talking about something well, you know, I mean, my best friend, you know, she showed me the messages that she saw, whatever. And Masika was like, bitch, no the fuck you didn't. You ain't see all the messages or whatever. Um, uh, Masika says she still has her phone with all the messages in it and everything. Um, uh, Masika, she's pretty much like, this whole shit is a motherfucking mess. Uh, Brandy, she, you know, gets up and... You know, talks about some. If I say that there's not going to be a session, then it won't be one or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Masika tells her to sit the fuck down. Um, Brandy, she starts going off, popping off. Y'all know how she do. Um, Max says that you know, um, Masika, if something did happen between Masika and the producer, the other producer, they ain't got shit to do with him. This is strictly business. You know what I'm saying? And he should, and, um. Lil B should be happy that he out here trying to clean up the mess that she fucking made. I said, ooh. <laughs> okay, Max. Um, Brandy talks about uh, her knowing Beyonce or whatever, this, that, and the third. I was just like, okay, bitch. Um, <laughs> what else happened? Um, Masika, you know, she's telling them, she's telling security to get, you know, B out her face or whatever. That one security guard, he jumped over the motherfucking counter because he already know what fucking time it is with B's ass. And he, you know, steps in front of her or whatever. Um, Masika, she walks out. Um, Brandy, he put, she puts the money on the counter or whatever. And as she's counting, she's like two, four, six, eight, ten. And then she count on her finger, 11, 12, and then put, put the money on the counter, 13. I'm like, wait a minute. Where was 11 and 12 at? The actual money. You counting 11 and 12 on your motherfucking finger. I said, this bitch, I, <laughs> I cannot with her. Like, I just, I can't. Um, anyways, uh, Max says, you know, he don't respect a motherfucking thing that she doing. You know what I'm saying? That she got going on or whatever. Because, like he said, and said time again, it's not about the money. It's about the fact that she lied and broke his trust and everything. And she made matters worse by, you know, uh, barging into his studio session. He's embarrassed. Um, he says, can't nobody tell him, the, can't, can't nobody come into his shit and tell him, what to do when he's paying for the shit. You know what I'm saying? When he's paying for the session. 
uh, Max says that, you know, she don't respect his money or whatever. She don't understand what the fuck she did and everything. And he, he's just over it. And he leaves her yet again looking stupid. And it's like, I mean, Brandy girl, let's be serious here. Don't nobody want your husband. Don't nobody want Max but your ass, okay? Um, I'm over it. You know, uh, that was the episode or whatever. Y'all tell me how y'all feel about it. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you guys come back. Make sure you guys follow me on social media. Make sure you guys, um, it'll be in the, the description box below. Make sure you guys go out there and vote come this November. Don't vote for Donald Trump. I mean, y'all y'all already know. But, um, yeah, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.